this had been my third garden at Chelsea. The first one I made in 1983, and it was a family garden. I remember it had a pink parasol and a swing for children and a sand pit. Now, I haven't seen a sand pit at Chelsea since 1983. Maybe sand's my theme. Uh, the second garden, which I got a gold medal for in 1985, was a country kitchen garden. And that had little bits of orchard and bits of wildflower and fruit and veg and, and flowers as well and roses. And this, from the moors to the sea, is the Yorkshire moors down to the Isle of Wight where I now go. So this is the story of my life, if you like, encapsulated in my third garden. And it's been a delight to do. It's been a phenomenal week. It's been wonderful to come back here and build a garden. To celebrate 50 years of Britain in Bloom and this initiative to get communities gardening and greening up their surroundings and to create something which reflects the breadth of things we can grow in Britain from subarctic flora to Mediterranean plants. We came in here on the 1st of May and it was like the Somme, it's torrential downpours. So we started on the 1st, it had to be on show to the Queen on the 19th. So two and a half weeks really from a bare site, this is football pitches when it's not gardens, to a garden like this and a dry stone wall which I hope looks as though it's been there for a couple of hundred years. Working with a great team, working with Kate Gold as co-designer and putting the whole thing together. I think probably the easiest things to grow are a lot of the shrubs, so those are sort of the bigger bulkier things behind you, there's some tucrium and some cistus, and those are things that if you have a, a relatively dry, um, fairly warm garden will just romp away and, and reward you year after year with very little effort. There are some horrors in here, they, the echium particularly, which are these very tall long plants, um, they're what we call monocarpic, so they are actually in the process of dying, so they flower, have their glory moment and then just disappear into nothing. So those would be the ones for the connoisseur. We've got the classic sort of silver birch and pine trees up the top, working down through that moorland and the beck runs through. Classic native British wildflowers at the bottom, buttercups, cow parsley, foxgloves, in the sort of cool shade there. Then you break through this wonderful Yorkshire dry stone wall, which is built by Yorkshire craftsmen, into the beach area, and then we're on to seaside flowers. Cabbage palms that you see in Torbay, they're often called Torbay palms. Echiums, those great spires there, which grow well down in Devon and Cornwall, and just on the Isle of Wight, I've got some there as well. Uh, little succulents with daisy flowers on the sand. It's been wonderful to be down here, you kind of feel you are by the sea, really. And the loveliest thing is it's very nice standing by it, it's very calming, it's something that's nice to be in.